Oh hey, welcome back. Um, so we're gonna be talking about the move tool this um, video. Uh, well, we're gonna be working with surfaces, but mainly we're gonna be talking about the move tool in Adobe Medium. Uh, you just see me here uh, selecting the color quickly uh, to kind of show you guys what um, how powerful the move tool is. Um, so I just created <laughs> a cube over here and um, selected move tool and it can do some crazy crazy stuff <clears throat> for example you it's it basically turns uh medium into play-doh uh, i remember the first time i uh, came across this i was basically using the move tool for everything like um and and you could do that but I think um, the move tool is good for what it does, but it's not good for <laughs> everything. Um, but yeah, um, uh, if you remember an older video of mine called Octotecture, um, that is actually done using purely the move tool. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat tool to use. Um, I'm going to start off uh, by kind of making some massing or some sort of surface uh, shape so I can kind of stretch it out with the move tool. Um, I have a sort of an idea of what I want it to do with this. Uh, we'll see how it turns out, but yeah, let's, uh, let's test it out. Yeah, right now the shape is a little bit generic. There isn't much, um, I, I guess, um, oomph to it. <laughs> there isn't much of anything. So it's um, it, it's good for like a pure massing model, but I think I, I want it to make it a bit more interesting and uh, a bit more layered. So yeah, you, you just see me here kind of making the shape and figuring out <laughs> how to select the move tool slowly. Um, I swear to God, it's not like this usually. But I, I think it's just I, I, I've gotten so nervous recording <laughs> these videos. Um, but yeah, um, you could just stretch out the move tool like this. It's pretty easy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Did I just say stretch out the move tool? No, no, no. I meant stretch out the uh, shape with the move tool. <laughs> but, but you get the general idea. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking and uh, I'll meet you guys back in a bit. Alright, sorry for interrupting the awesome Pokemon music, um, but um, yeah, so this is this is a part where I thought it was pretty cool to kind of talk about. Um, so you see me here kind of stretching out um, this limb to create um, um, a sort of covering for the massing that I got. Um, and it's kind of, um, it's kind of a strategy or it's kind of a uh, technique that I found um, that was very useful for um, using the uh, move tool. Yeah, um, you'll see me use this uh, quite a few times as kind of um, we go through the time lapse. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, we'll catch you back in a bit, maybe with something a little bit more interesting. Yep. <laughs>
Alright, um, so we're back here <laughs> again. Um, I thought one of the kind of more unique aspects of the move tool is that it can also turn very generic kind of brushes or uh, shapes um, or not even generic, I, I would say like uh, very kind of um, basic shapes into something more specific. Um, uh, that's more tailored towards uh, your your design and um, yeah you could import kind of um, stuff that you've designed before and uh, kind of shape it into something so you could reuse a lot of the kind of uh, languages and uh, uh, techniques and uh, shapes and ideas that you've developed before into kind of older designs um, but yeah Anyways, um, that's just something I, I guess I wanted to mention looking at this. Uh, yeah, anyways, I, I won't be pausing too, too often anymore uh, because I think it's just uh, the same thing um, over and over again. But yeah, this is kind of how you work with the move tool. Let me know if you want me to go into more details of this. It's really hard to kind of explain. A lot of this is kind of more my uh, design choices. Um, since since uh, as I kind of worked on it, I, I got more and more <laughs> interested in it. And, and um, yeah, let's um, meet back uh, and look at the final result. All right, um, so this is kind of the final result. Uh, I think I've um, pretty much arrived at my limit. Uh, uh, I don't think I'll be working with this um, anymore, but I might bring it up into Blender and show you guys the process of how I develop into maybe an architectural rendering. Um, yeah. Um, let me know if um, that's something interesting or perhaps I could just show you the final rendering result um, later on um, but yeah that's kind of uh, it um, um, I don't know let me know what you think uh, I, I quite like the design to be honest um, uh, I, I might still <laughs> I might keep working on it I'm not sure uh, but it seems pretty nice yeah <laughs>